Welcome to our help board video on conducting one-way ANOVAs and SPSS. So let's get started. Your directions for this week's lab includes working with two different data files. The first data file talks about having two groups. I'm not going to go over how to complete this part because if there are two groups, you already have learned the statistical test to use and you can refer back to those labs and those videos. Part two is our new part because in part two, there are three groups, a group that's assigned to Twitter, a group that's assigned to Facebook, and a group that's assigned to Tumblr. This is the first time you've had three groups. So the video will focus on this. Now your directions say to answer your preliminary questions and then that you need to calculate a total score. I'm gonna show you a quick way of doing this in Excel. Here is my data. I'm using a data file that's very similar to the one that you have been given, but it has less participants. That way you can't just watch this video and see all the answers, but all of the skills will be the same. So you have to calculate a total score and you've been doing this through SPSS, but sometimes that can be clunky. An easy way of doing this is through Excel. If I want all of these numbers here from question one to question 18 to be added up for that first participant, I can come over here to the first blank column and in the first row where we have labels for each of these items, I can type something like total score. Then for our first participant, I can type equals and then the word sum and then open a parentheses. I can then highlight all of the numbers that I want Excel to sum together or add together and then close that parentheses off. That total score now of 51 adds everything from B2 to S2. So everything from question one to question 18 for that first participant there. Now I could retype that 56 times or I can just highlight this first box which is T2 and click and drag all the way down to my last participant, which for this example is T56, and then up in our functions bar, click fill down. What I've filled is that formula of summing everything in the row of before the column. There, I now have a total score for all of my participants. I find this to be much faster than how it's done in SPSS, but whichever one you are most comfortable with. This is the file I'm going to now save and then import into SPSS. I need to make sure that SPSS is looking for Excel data. And here we go. I click OK on this first menu that is it reading the Excel file and my data is now imported. The first column is the groups 1, 2, or 3. Then I have questions 1 through 18 and my total score item. The next thing that the directions ask for is, is some descriptive statistics. You've already seen how to compare complete descriptive statistics in previous labs, so you can refer to those if you do not remember. We're going to focus on the next one, which is conducting the appropriate statistical test. If there are three groups and only one variable, that's going to be a one-way ANOVA. So I go up to Analyze, and from the Analyze menu, I come down to Compare Means. The last item in the Compare Means submenu is the one-way ANOVA. In the one-way ANOVA dialog box, I move things again from the left to the right as I've been doing on all of the other menus. The dependent list is the DV. For this example, it's a total score on that measure. So I move total score over into the dependent list. Factors in this case is the three different groups. So I move groups over into the factor box. I also want to make sure I click post hoc because the post hoc menu will allow me to conduct a post hoc test. For this class, you will be using the Tukey's post hoc test. So I click that dialog box and then click continue. 
I can also get some descriptives if I want by clicking the options and selecting descriptions. Once those are done, I click OK. And here is our one way output. As you can see, I have the descriptive statistics. So how many people are in each group, their average score, standard deviation and whatnot. This is another way of getting descriptives in addition to the other ways that you have learned. The next area is the ANOVA output. As you can see, I have a single F ratio. That is the F ratio for my ANOVA. And then the SIG that's listed after it is the statistical significance for that F ratio. I also have my degrees of freedom for both between and within the groups and the total degrees of freedom. These are all incredibly important for not only filling out your worksheet, but also in writing up your results as the final item. If we come down to the next area, we have our post hoc test. The post hoc test tells me which groups are different. So in my ANOVA output, I can see that my F ratio is statistically significant as it is less than 0.05. So there is a statistical significance between these three groups. But which group and where is the difference? That's what the post hoc test tells us. The post hoc test can tell us if I compare group one to group two or group one to group three, is that statistically significant? If I look in the SIG column, I can see that the majority of these are much greater than 0.05 and thus are not statistically significant. But there's one exception, and that's when you compare group two to group three. And again, three to two, which is the same comparison. I can see that there, that st significance is statistically significant because it is less than. Also, your mean difference has an asterisk and the key tells us that that means it is a flag difference. So the group that is different or the comparisons that are different is the comparison of group two to group three, but that there isn't a statistical difference between group one and group two or group one and group three. All of the statistical difference is when I compare group two to group three. That will help me write up my results in my final paragraph. And that's everything that you need to complete a one-way ANOVA in SPSS. There are also some helper websites in case this has gone too quickly or was confusing to you. Good luck and I look forward to seeing your answers.